Babcock joining us now live from Everbank Stadium. Khalil, you spoke with people who live and work on Jacksonville's east side to see how they're feeling about this new proposal. Yeah, Joy, I did. And some of them tell me they are not happy about it. They say they feel like if that agreement is taken out of the deal dealing with the stadium, they feel it means less support could be coming to their side of town. So I didn't come in optimistic. I Avery McKnight is the president of the East Side Legacy Business Council. Old. He's speaking with me outside of a neighborhood meeting talking about the community benefits agreement, a meeting that had been planned for a while, one I was asked not to film. And when he said he didn't go in optimistic, he was referencing going in this meeting earlier today where city council was talking about the CBA. You can see him here. Why did you say you went in not too optimistic? After 60 years, again, of, of divestment. If you, so when you divest in a community, it lowers the value. It makes the place look less attractive. Today, some council members spoke about wanting to remove the community benefits agreement out of the stadium deal to vote on it separately. Some also wanted to spread the money in that deal around the city and not just use it on the east side. The deal proposed $300 million to be spent on east side neighborhoods and city parks over the next 30 years. Like I was saying, it disheartening. I'm Dana Miller is the owner of Man Cave Barbershop. He's lived and worked in the area for decades. He says he understands some council members might want to spread the money around. But after thinking the deal would form one way, and then this happens today, he feels like an opportunity to make this area thrive again could be in limbo. And if they knock this deal and turn a blind eye to it, they could be uh, messing up generations of hope. That's one. And at today's meeting, no vote was made by city council. But as Ashley said, there is a special public hearing that will happen Monday where we could find out more information. Reporting live, Khalil Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station. Khalil, thank you.